With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that the ratio of the 11th term to the 18th term of an AP is 2 ratio 3. So we are given the ratio of 11th term to the 18th term of an AP. Now we are asked to find the ratio of the 5th term to the 21st term and also the ratio of the sum of first 5 terms to the sum of first 21 terms. So this is what we are asked to find in this question. Now let us assume that A is the first term of the AP. A is the first term and D is the common difference. Common difference. Now, we are given the ratio of 11th term to the 18th term. That is, we are given the A11 divided by A18 because A11 is the 11th term of the AP. A18 is the 18th term of AP is equals to 2 ratio 3. Now, the formula that we are going to use is the formula for n net term of AP and the formula for n net term of AP is a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d where a is the first term and d is the common difference and n is the number of term. So, here n is equals to 11 and we have assumed the first term and the common difference to be a and d. So, we can write here as a 11 is equals to a plus 11 minus 1 multiplied by d divided by a plus 18 minus 1 multiplied by d is equals to 2 divided by 3. On solving it, we will get a plus 10d, 10d divided by a plus 17d is equals to 2 divided by 3. On solving it, because uh, here we are going to do cross multiplication, so on cross multiplication, we will have 3a plus 30d is equals to 2a plus 34d. Now this 2a will go to the left hand side of the equation and we will have 3a minus 2a. This 30d will go to the right hand side of the equation and we will have 34d minus 30d which will give us a is equals to 4d. So now we have a is equals to 4d. Let's name this as equation 1. Now the question further says that find the ratio of fifth term to the 21st term. That means we are supposed to find out the ratio of A5 and A21. Now let's use the formula of n net term of AP that is An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. And here we can write it as A plus 5 minus 1 multiplied by D divided by A plus 21 minus 1 multiplied by D. And this will be equal to A plus 4D divided by A plus 20D. Now, from 1, we, we know that A is equals to 4D. So, putting in the value of A as 4D, we will get 4D plus 4D divided by 4D plus 20D. So, this will give us 8D divided by 24D, which will be equal to 1, because this T will get cancelled out by this T, and this will give us 1 divided by 3. So, the ratio of A5 and A21 is fifth term and 21st term is 1 ratio 3 and this is what we were asked to find in the question that find the ratio of 21st term find the ratio of fifth term to the 21st term so the ratio is 1 ratio 3 this is the answer to the first part of the question now let's move to the second part which is talking about the sum so if it is talking about the sum the, so the formula that we are going to use is sum of n terms of ap is equals to n divided by 2 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Now, putting in the value of n because we are supposed to find out the sum of first 5 terms to so the sum of first 21 terms. So, that means sum of first 5 terms will be S5, sum of first 21 terms will be S21. Now, let's solve uh, this to find out the ratio. So, first of all, let's solve for sum of first 5 terms. For sum of first 5 terms, n is equal to 5. So, we will have S5 is equal to 5 divided by 2. 2a plus 5 minus 1 multiplied by 
d i have done nothing but put n is equal to 5 in this formula and i have got 5 divided by 2 on further solving it i will have 5 divided by 2 2a plus 4d this is sum of first five terms now we know that a is equals to 4d from equation 1 from equation 1 we know that a is equals to 4d so putting in this we will have 5 divided by 2 a is equals to 4d so 2 multiplied by 4d plus 4d this will give us 8d plus 4d 5 divided by 2 is equals to s 5 so now we have 5 divided by 2 multiplied by 12d which will give us 30d because this 12 will get divided by 2 and we will have 6 so this will be equal to 30d this is s5 now let's find out s this is sum of first 5 terms now let's find out sum of first 21 terms now again using the same formula for sum we will write s21 that is sum of first 21 terms is equals to n divided by 2 that is 21 divided by 2 2a plus n minus 1 that is 21 minus 1 multiplied by d so this will give us 21 divided by 2 21 divided by 2 2a plus 20 d now a is equals to 4d we know that a is equals to 4d from equation 1 we know that a is equals to 4d so we can put a is equals to 4d here and we will have 21 divided by 2 2 multiplied by 4d plus 20d this will give us 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 8d plus 20 that is 28d so i will have 21 divided by 2 multiplied by 28d which will be equal to which will be equal to because this 28 will get divided by 2 and we will have 14 so 21 multiplied by 14 is equals to 294 d so now i have sum of first 21 terms and we were supposed to find out the ratio of sum of first five terms to the ratio of sum of first 21 terms as it can be seen that sum of first five terms is 30 d 30 d and sum of first 21 terms is 294 d so d will get cancelled out this will go when we will divide by five, uh, 6 we will have 6 multiplied by 5 36 multiplied by 49 is 294 so this will give us 5 divided by 49 so the ratio is 5 ratio 49 and this is our answer to the second part of the question that's all thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today